3D Beehive and Honeybees Acrylic Nail Art Tutorial by Hot Pink Zero Polish. Hi everybody! In today's video I'm going to be showing you a really cute extreme 3D beehive that's got these little wires that come up with little bees flying around it. It is so cool and I love it and it's I used quite a few of the Madame Glam's perfect collection colors. The gold is the perfect kind of classic shimmery gold that just I don't know, it's so perfect with this design, <laughs> perfect, that I was really excited to share this one with you. And if you guys are interested in any of these perfect colors, I do have a link or a code in the description box below for a discount, so you can check that out. And don't forget to click subscribe to see all my future videos as well. So I'm going to begin with an overlay of clear acrylic to make sure that this nail is nice and strong. Of course, this design, if you wanted to, you could just do a gel manicure with it. And you could still do 3D work on top of a gel manicure, which is something that a lot of people don't realize. Um, but that is something that is definitely possible and I have done it myself on multiple occasions is that you can do fun little 3D stuff on top of a gel manicure if you don't want to have a full acrylic set. So now I'm going to be filing that nail into shape with my e-file. I started out with a coarse bit to remove any bulk and then, fit, then switch to a finer bit to remove any little scratchy stuff that's going on. Now I'm going to be applying two coats of that perfect gold. And this is a yellow gold, like a 24 karat gold. So pretty. It really is just gorgeous. So after the second coat is cured, I'm going to apply some gel sealer, cure that again. And now I'm going to cut off three little pieces of wire and then glue those onto the nail. So I only have silver wire in this size, and this is the size that I really want to use. And so with that being said, if you have gold wire that's about this really narrow gauge, then you would make, you'd be saving yourself a step if you use gold wire instead of silver. And after I have all those little pieces of wire glued on, I'm going to be taking some white acrylic and I'm going to be sculpting my beehive. And if you wanted to, if you don't want to do use all the gel polish like I did, then you would probably want to do this with yellow. Otherwise, if you are planning on using the gel polish, either white or clear would be a really nice base for this. So I did the first layer of acrylic that is mostly just to smooth out all of those little wires so it wasn't so weird to work on top of. And then for the second coat, after I have that layer of acrylic on, I'm going to take the tip of my brush and swipe it back and forth to create the little bumps in the beehive and then taking a dotting tool dipped into some clear acrylic powder so it wouldn't stick I'm going to carve out the little entrance hole to their beehive home after that has fully set up I'm going to paint the hive with perfect yellow and just kind of make a really thin coat over the top of the entire thing the great thing after that then cure the yellow that I'm going to take and I'm going to swipe in some orange and some brown the great thing with Madame Glam gels is that they have a fairly thin consistency and I find that even more now that they just switched their formula a little bit um, otherwise nothing has changed with their formula as far as consistency or wearage or anything but it just seems slightly thinner which is nice um, but that isn't so bad to paint over the top of your 3d work because it doesn't hide it so much because it is such a nice thin formula that is so pigmented i added some of the perfect brown inside the little hole to the house and then just a couple little highlights of the perfect gold apply some gel sealer and then bend your wires over into a curve so that the bees are flying around the hive and of course if you want to you can bend your wires any way you want so it looks like you've got a nice little swarm going on after you have that cut off extra wire if there is any and if you are using silver wire like I am instead of gold that would make it easier I'm going to be painting over my wires with perfect gold to make them the right kind of color silver just looked so out of place there after that I'm going to be applying some gel sealer over the top of them so that they're not any kind of sticky just like so after that is done then I'm going to be curing that again and now on a nail form backing I'm going to sculpt my three little bumblebees so I'm placing three beads of white acrylic down on my nail form backing and I'm just gonna let them set for a second after they've begun to slightly turn matte where they're gonna start holding their shape I'm going to form them into nice little hot dog bar shapes so just press the little circles in from side to side so that they aren't quite so round and after you have that done and you have that shape a little bit, a little bit better, then I'm going to take and place two beads, two very small beads, one on either side of my hot dog shapes to make the wings of my bumblebees. Like I said, these are very simple little bees, nothing too crazy detailed. If you guys want a detailed bumblebee design, I do have a realistic bumblebee 3D acrylic design on a beehive. That is actually one of my favorite videos. It's a couple years old, but it still holds its value, I think. I love that video. So I'll put a link to that one in the description box below if you guys are looking for a little bit more realistic and less cutesy of a bumblebee design. And so I'm going to do all my little wings. And then I'm going to be gluing those little bees onto the ends of the wires. I have been wanting to do a bumblebee design or a bee design in general for a while now just because of the bee epidemic that we're in the middle of and I feel any kind of awareness brought to that is 
<laughs> step in the right direction. So if you guys are, you know, at all considering that is part of your daily lives, pesticides are not helping anybody. So just, you know, do your part if you can. And then after I've got my little bees glued on, I'm going to take and with perfect yellow, I'm going to paint their bodies with that. And then I'm going to cure it. If I've meant, if I've forgotten to mention any of the curing steps, I apologize, but it is all written in the words where I cured and when. So if you guys want to go back through and check that, if I have missed mentioning them, that might be a good idea if you're planning on doing a recreation. I'm going to then take perfect black and make little stripes on my bumblebees, cure that again, and then take perfect white and highlight my little wings so that they're a bit brighter than just my white acrylic was. Apply some gel sealer on top of the bumblebees and they're all done i think this whole design is so cute like i said i've been wanting to do a beehive design for a while now and in fact just beehives in general they're just so cute the whole little thing also reminds me of winnie the pooh so that's you know that's an extra little added bonus i hope you guys like this design as much as i do definitely check out those madam glam colors it's their five year anniversary so that's exciting for them and don't forget to click subscribe see all my future videos as well bye